All right, guys, now I'm gonna show one, one uh, color drag variation, one of the color drag variations that I like to do. So this one, when we both have the, the same situation, the same grips, lapel and triceps. So I'm gonna show how I like to do this one. So look, let's say I have his lapel and I have his triceps and my opponent has the same grips. So what I have to do in this situation here, it's really important, always making his steps. So if he has a good base, it's not gonna be good. So I always bring him to me. So when I feel he's like, just a step. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lift, right? So I'm gonna bring him to me, lift the arm, and at the same time, I'm gonna, the idea is to make him walk towards me, and at the same time, I'm gonna shoot my leg inside his leg, right? So make sure, imagine that you wanna pass over my body. Right? So what I'm gonna do, before we do that, I just make sure that I open, create that space because I wanna lose the pressure on this lapel and I wanna pass under this space. So if I just shoot here, his arm gonna be blocking my shoulder and I'm gonna be able to reach low on his leg. So that's why I open, I keep stepping back, open and at the same time, imagine that I wanna bring him that way, to that direction. So look, open and see how my leg always passing behind here because now my head is going to be really close to his body and at the same time that I hug his leg, I'm going to stand up but I'm going to use that lapel to, let, to help him go up. So look, once I get here, of course, I'm never going to stop in that situation but look my leg's position so it's going to be easy for me to hug Keep rotating and finish on the position. Of course, if I get the take down like that in a perfect war, great. But a lot of times my opponent's gonna defend. So look, I create this space, I open, I drop it, and when I get the situation here, look, here naturally he's defending. So look, my head, my head always really close to his shoulder, so I'm gonna bring the lapel down and I'm gonna lift the leg even more so and I'm gonna keep rotating. The idea is always keeping him moving and keep rotating. So look, I'm gonna rotate right away when I, when I feel his hip on the mat. From here, I'm gonna switch to the other leg and connect with the folding pass or any situation to establish him on the ground. But if I get the position here and my opponent has a good base, and I'll try to push him down and he posture up. So right away, I'm gonna switch to the opposite way. So instead of bringing inside, I'm gonna lose my head to push outside and step back and finish on the same position. My hand from this leg switch to the other leg. If you can connect with a folding pass, great. Otherwise, if you just can establish him and I have cut or any situation, would be any situation, uh, a good situation as well. So, just one more time. So, the way we have how to finish, we saw a couple times. So, just the beginning is really important. Just make sure that you take him, take this away from him. So, if you just go here, he would be blocking me. So, I'm not gonna be able to reach low right there. So, that's why I have to open, bring to me. So, at the same time you open, you bring. So look, a lot of times if you put both the hands, you just keep rotating and finish. And I have more and just establish the position, right? That's one of the variations of the collar drag that I like to do.